All right, Dana, we're gonna do some isometric cuff exercises. So get your arm in a nice uh, externally rotated position. We're gonna keep that fist at 12 o'clock. Uh, about 10 to 25 degrees space in between your, your um, ribs and your humerus there. And now you're gonna walk out till you feel about 100% resistance on that band. Good, and then walk back to 50. Okay, so we're not gonna count sets and reps on this. We're gonna do this for time because I want time under tension on that cuff. And we might go for a total of two to three minutes taking breaks whenever you want to. Good. So now we're gonna keep that same position, okay? A little bit less of an angle in that arm if you want to <clears throat> will make it easier and or an easier lighter band. But what I want you to do now is I want you to take that arm and bring it up as high as you can comfortably to 90 degrees, then right back down. Just like that's perfect. Okay, that would be a lower level exercise. Good, and we might do, you know, three to four sets of 12 to 15 reps on that one, or we might do the same situation. We might just go time under tension and do it for a few minutes and take breaks when you want to. Now I'll go ahead and face the machine. Keep your arm at the same angle. Keep your wrist at the same angle. And now turn towards me. Turn everything towards me, including your arm. That's perfect. And then walk back. So we're only turning at 90 degrees here. This would be an easier exercise for the cuff. Danny, when you go back, bring it into a half W position. Good. A little bit more. Uh, with that, uh, let's bring the forearm backwards a bit. Good, now, um, elbow up a little bit. Good, now, turn. That's perfect. This would be advanced. So we'll do this as you get less pain. Again, we might do time under tension or we might do three to four sets of 12 to 15 reps. That's perfect.